Hello, my name is Michael Crawford. I'm the manager of the cardiac rehab program at the Cleveland Clinic, and I am a clinical exercise physiologist uh, certified through the American College of Sports Medicine. Uh, often when I'm speaking with patients about exercise, one of the questions that come up is about high intensity interval training. It's also known as HIT exercise. So there are some things to take into consideration when doing HIT. Uh, it's been well studied for many years in an athletic population, has been shown to have great benefits. However, there is some limited evidence on the safety and effectiveness of HIT training in patients who have cardiovascular or heart conditions. Uh, some things to keep in mind is that if you do have certain heart conditions such as uncontrolled heart rhythm disorders, uh, very high blood pressure that's not controlled, uncontrolled diabetes, uh, had heart surgery within the last 12 weeks, maybe you've had a heart attack or an angioplasty in the last four weeks, uh, if you've had history of aortic dissection, aneurysms, vascular dissections, or certain devices like pacemakers and ICDs, you may want to reconsider if HIT training is appropriate for you and always speak with one of your healthcare providers or physicians to verify if this is a safe alternative for you. If HIT training is something that is safe and you're interested in doing, uh, it's simply exercise that uh, has a mix of low intensity and high intensity exercises in a single exercise session. Uh, HIT training can be implemented between one and three times per week and balanced with regular activity or moderate intensity exercise two to three times per week. Uh, the other way to think about doing the HIT training is that you need to include a certain amount of duration of the HIT. Uh, the HIT training can be uh, between a total time of about 30 to 60 minutes with 10 minutes being warm-up time, 20 to 40 minutes of being the interval times, and then another 10 minutes to cool down. The type of activity may include treadmill, it may include walking or running outdoors, it can include cycling, it can include elliptical training, or any type of aerobic exercise that gets the heart pumping and the muscles moving. Uh, even sometimes strength training can be used for high-intensity interval training activities. Uh, other things to keep in mind with the HIT training are the benefits. The benefits of the exercise with high intensity interval training include improved weight management, improved cardiovascular conditioning. Uh, you can also see some limited evidence suggesting improvement in heart function with high intensity interval training. Risks, however, do include increased risk of cardiovascular arrhythmias, uh, heart attacks, muscle or joint injuries, and just general muscle soreness after doing the high intensity interval training. Uh, bottom line with the interval training is that uh, you do want to mix both short durations of low intensity exercise, short as 30 seconds, maybe as long as four minutes, along with higher intensity intervals for the same interval, 30 to four, 30 seconds up to four minutes of the higher intensity for that total duration of about 20 to 40 minutes of the HIT exercise. Uh, HIT training is a very nice alternative to break up your routine of doing your moderate intensity exercise and definitely meet with a healthcare professional before initiating.